Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Since Day One. Before we get into this video today about Remy Ma, as well as her husband Papoos, go ahead and like the video, comment down below, and if you are new, smash that subscribe button to take flight with us. Fake love, I don't need it, you can keep it, that's a fact. Yeah. I, I had to make up my mind, my mind. I took that weight out my shoulder. I took that weight out my heart. I've been is Kayoni Mackie Smith, born May 30th of 1980, known professionally as Remy Ma, is an American rapper discovered by the late rapper Big Pun. She came to prominence for her work as a member of Fat Joe's group Terror Squad in 2006. Remy Ma gained a reputation for her fierce lyricism and sharp delivery, yet outside of the strides she's made in music, she's a devoted mother to her two kids, including a daughter that she shares with her husband Papoose. Her personal life has been on full display over the years especially during her tenure on Love & Hip Hop New York. However, she's maintained a strong balance between her professional and personal life, simultaneously showing off her kids while also protecting them from the limelight. And although Papoose and Remy Ma have been knowing each other for a while now, you guys, they both have children outside of their marriage. And Remy Ma's demeanor as a mother, you guys, doesn't seem as tight-knit as Papoose when it comes to him as a father to his children that he has outside of his marriage. Which are three children in total, you guys. Papoose has two children with his ex-girlfriend, Yvette, which is Dejanae Mackey, born in 1996, and Shamel Mackey, born in 1999. And he also has a third daughter, Destiny, born in 2000. And then in 2008, that's when he exchanged his wedding vows over the phone while Remy Ma was incarcerated for allegedly pow powing one of her friends for stealing from her? Or at least that's what Remy Ma has said in her song. They say I shot my friend over a band. And imagine what I do to a bitch that I can't stand. Remy Ma has another child named Jason Scott, who is her son from a previous relationship. Scott grew up in the public eye, often appearing on Remy Ma's social media feed and accompanying her to a variety of events. And y'all remember back in 2021, Remy Ma's son, Jason, who was 23 at the time, was arrested and charged with first degree murder, y'all. So he ain't even out right now, which is crazy. I really want to know how she feels about that. Like, does that make her feel like a bad mom? I mean, one thing that I think should make Remy Ma feel like a bad mom is the fact that you had this glamorous life you had an amazing rap career before you went to prison and still was able to maintain it because of your husband after you got out of prison just to turn around y'all and leave this man allegedly for that battle rapper. And honestly, y'all, when I read about that stuff then, I should have came out with a video, y'all. I don't even know what type of headspace I was in, but she was wrong for that. And the fact that that man looks exactly like Papoose is really what it was for me because that is diabolical how much that man looks like Papoose. And so when news finally started to break on social media, you guys, that Papoose and Remy Ma were allegedly no longer together, after he had held her down for six years while she was in prison, she was rumored to be dating a younger man, y'all. A battle rapper, like I mentioned before, named Easy, the block captain, y'all. And what was even more embarrassing, y'all, was Remy Ma was showing up with a fake Easy E to these battle raps, y'all. And the competitors was going against the fake Easy E, y'all, and talking about Remy Ma and Papoose's relationship and all of the allegations and rumors they had been hearing about online, y'all. Every interview, you show his admiration to tell the world how his woman the greatest. Nigga, he held you down in prison for six years. I know it was nice. He cried big titty. He still biting about the biggest accomplishment front row giving you big titty. Man, y'all got a beautiful baby girl who owns Tasha K in information and she dropped the photo of Remy Ma and the alleged side dude, the fake Easy E, out on a date. And I mean, how disrespectful could she have been? It's like, girl, you threw away your whole life. You threw away the perfect man that all these women out here are striving to have. You had a Russell Wilson at home and you mean to tell me you threw it all away for somebody who got beaver tea apparently i wasn't the only one who felt some type of way because little scrappy also has something to say when men do some shit, man women stand up for every they stand up from all mountains of the earth they stand up oh why would he do this why would he do it? but we ain't heard nothing about what happened to pat poos we don't hear about that 
Ain't nobody standing up for Pat Poo saying, oh man, we sorry for your, we sorry that shit happened to you. Shout did you dirty. We ain't hearing none of that shit, my nigga. We ain't hearing none of that shit. Because ain't nobody, ain't nobody trying to stand up. And they talking about the black woman is the most unprotected person on the earth when dying daily. Just dying daily. Just dying daily, my nigga. Fuck that shit, my I'm standing up for the black woman and I'm standing up for the black man. That's what I'm doing. I don't give a fuck about the shit talking about. You be, and I love, I love some of my, I'll be, I'll be on y'all little dumb podcast. Just wanna, need to do this, need to do this. Y'all need to do this for your woman. Yeah, man, you trying to get, man, you, that you, you, maybe all, all your life you dealt with great women. All your life you dealt with great women. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. But I know some real evil motherfucking women. I know some real evil women. I done been an evil man before. So guess what? I have to stand up for both. I done been a nigga before. I done been a whole a whole for real. I done been a whole to women. You know what I'm saying? So I already know that it's bad out there. But I already know that it's bad women out there because some women have been over. They done me all the way over, inside out. Remy Ma was not stunning nothing anybody was talking about online because pretty soon, you guys, she was changing her last name from Papoose's last name back to her maiden name, y'all. And it's like sometimes you don't even know what a woman is thinking. It's the fact that he dedicated his life to her, married her while she was in prison over a phone call, you guys. S stayed down for her faithful to her for eight years until she got out remarried her and gave her the perfect wedding that any woman would die for and when she disrespected papoose and when she disrespected her marriage and when she disrespected her daughter first and foremost when she disrespected her daughter and broke her family apart for a beaver tooth battle rapper who will never be Papoose. And I'm just here to say that the fans and the supporters do not like it. And I'm just going to also say that I used to be one of those people who looked up to Papoose and Remy Ma being one of those couples from way back in the day, keeping their relationship strong and remaining diligent together and getting this money. They was literally one of my favorite power couples. And I was so sad when I had found out that they had separated because she did what she did. And I feel like I shouldn't forget to mention that when Remy Ma and Papoose had officially split online or whatever the case was, that majority of their fans and their supporters had sided with Papoose because they've always felt like Papoose was more involved as a husband, as a father, you know, as a business partner with Remy Ma. And they felt as if Remy Ma always just wanted to live in the limelight ever since before she had gotten incarcerated for pow-powing her friend. That Papoose could have let Remy Ma rot those eight years in prison instead of standing by her side and still making sure that she held her position when she got out and that nobody forgot about her. And to me, it just seems like she took advantage of that and made it seem as if she did it all on her own, you guys, and eventually felt like that she didn't need Papoose and that she could start over with someone else. And it seems as if Remy Ma was just okay with having her son Jason as a child and it really wasn't giving that she wanted to start over and have another one with papoose she only did so i think because of the guilt that he held her down the entire time and she wanted to feel like she was giving back to him in some type of way but it's so hard these days to be an entertainer as well as a full-time mom and still be feeling behind like remy ma does because she got a taste of fame in her younger years she ended up messing up and getting incarcerated for majority of her young adult life and when she did get out of prison it seemed like time had moved on without her and she was trying to not only catch up as an artist but to catch up as a wife to catch up as a woman and to catch up as a mom just recently on social media you guys Remy Ma have been getting tore to shreds you guys on Papoose's Instagram page where I don't even think she should have been y'all but Papoose's comment section was giving Remy Ma a run for her money because girl how dare you how dare you have the audacity to even be over here trying to argue with these people in the comments about how they view you as a bad mom because it seems like papoose has more presence in reminisce's life than remy so what had fans in an uproar on social media you guys was the fact that reminisce which is the daughter of papoose and remy ma had recently started school, you guys, and Papoose had posted a tribute to his daughter on his Instagram, 
And the caption read, today, hashtag the golden child started kindergarten. My baby been ready. Love you, big sugar. And over on Remy Ma's Instagram, her caption for her daughter's first day of kindergartner was, I have a kindergartner. Reminisce is getting so big too fast. My little golden child is everything though. She went on to say, sidebar, I may post some of her TikToks so y'all can see her more. Her personality. Jokes double sidebar who else lost their mind trying to find all the school supplies these people were requesting like why do i need 12 glue sticks and four boxes of crayons and two packs of markers and yeah i bought crayola but why do you care what brand they are and back over on papoose's instagram people were leaving comments like we can definitely tell the mindset of each parent papoose you're a great man i'm pretty sure you'll find your empress real soon real man never spoke on family business took it on the chin and continuously showing you how a man with emotional intelligence should move respect we see who took her to school outstanding king and you can see remy ma in the comments you guys saying you see what was wanted to be seen but okay remy ma was also bothered by the comment saying that they could tell the mindset of each parent and she said, just put some laughing emojis another person chimed in and said i think you need to stop because it don't matter who took her to school the world know they both play a big part in her life the same person responded and said this is papoose page go on remy ma page and praise her respectfully the last comment read i'm not judging i'm going off what both parents have posted concerning their beautiful daughter and from what i perceive the father's mindset is something i can respect nevertheless neither of them are paying me to go back and forth with their fans and i really agree with what she said because you could just tell from the way papoose handled fatherhood compared to Remy Ma feeling like that she's not really 44 years old that she says that she feels like she's 35 and she doesn't count the time that she was away from the free world you guys and I really feel like that this puts her in an immature mindset and maybe she feels like this man right here is more on her level than Papoose but I really just feel like she fumbled the bag y'all I niggas run down on you, you know what I mean? I'm saying, put me on, bro. Why you? I'm trying to rap, I'm trying to do this. You know what putting out 12 albums in a year did for me? Mm. It got all them niggas out my face. Because, <laughs> not real no, shit, explain, explain, explain. Let me explain, right? <laughs> so, me, I've been in the game for a while. You I had a, your ace of space. <laughs> <laughs> he he thinks this is fueling this. Yeah. But let me tell you, right? Uh, I've been in the game for a while, right? I had a million dollar deal. 1.5, sir, don't forget right, that right, right. <laughs> yeah, cool. I toured overseas. You know what I mean? I did records with Nori. Yeah. You know what I mean? Records with Nas. Yeah. Records with all these great people. Right. And I'm really working hard hard enough to release over uh, 70 some odd songs in one year 12 albums in one year crazy. and you and, and when i turn to them and when they come to me with the handout shit how many you're a rapper how many songs you put out how many albums you put out so mm. i shouldn't be out working you so if i'm not working you that means you're not hungry i don't even want to hear from you